All right, so what's up, Glenn Babes? It's your girl, the Airline, and I'm back with another video. Um, a video that I really don't even want to bring back to the channel, but this is something that I really do need to speak on and clear my mother name up because too many people are playing on my top right now, and I got some shit to say. Like, I'm addressing everything, and I'm bringing nothing but facts to the table because a lot of people have been trying to say I'm lying about the DeSay situation. Yanni bitch ass saying I'm lying about the DeSay situation. Uh, making up false rumors saying she has a recording about me saying I'm lying. Some bullshit. Um, what else? Y'all ain't really just mad because she f***ed Buddha and she's mad that I trolled her about it because she was trying to lie and say she didn't fuck him when this bitch literally called me and told me that she f***ed this nigga. Like, and I wasn't even mad, but it's like the fact that you're trying to get on social media and tell people that I'm lying about somebody having sex with me is crazy. So I'm addressing Yanni bitch ass i'm gonna address uh wuda the whole wuda situation so yeah i really just want to hop straight into this video because definitely clearing up my name this is my fucking breaking point and this is my last time ever ever speaking on a situation i really wasn't even gonna get on here and speak too much i wasn't gonna get on here and speak on a situation at all because like y'all seen the shay supposedly was gonna take this shit to court he was gonna have his team reach out to me he was gonna do all this and that whole time this bitch ass nigga is lying bro a lot of people been saying in the comments like oh you only said to shay or word you because you wanted to get water back whole time y'all don't even know this nigga picked me up from the airport this nigga got me a hotel in atlanta which i was not able to get to because somebody put something in my fucking drink he booked my flight back to houston all types of shit like y'all don't even know the half or the half or the half or the half or the half of what y'all be talking about y'all literally know only what y'all see on camera. So I'm addressing everything in this video. And I do want to start this video off by saying, don't ever like try to bully nobody online or like come for nobody about no sexual assault when y'all don't even know what's going on. Y'all are only seeing what us content creators put out there for you guys. It's so easy for somebody to get, get on social media and type up a fake ass message, all types of shit. It's easy to freaking it's, it's social media is so fake. Y'all don't even understand like how fake this shit is. Like you don't understand. No one has reached out to me. No team has said anything to me. There's no such thing as court because this bitch ass nigga is lying to y'all. That's what y'all are not understanding. He literally got on social media on Twitter, typed up a typed up a fake ass paragraph, a fake ass paragraph talking about some, oh, I'm going to sue you this and that nigga. Ain't nobody reached out to me. So what's really tea? Like, he really did that to make himself look good. No one has reached out to me. I ain't heard from Deshay, his team, no fucking body, y'all. Nobody. And Deshay, if you did, if you, if you, you know, got your team suing me, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? I want to see some documentation. Where's the proof at, my nigga? Like... The crazy thing is, this nigga knew, this nigga Deshae knew that I was not on no freaky shit with him, no weird shit with him at all, because when he kept asking me for kisses and shit, I'm getting mad, like, nigga, no, I don't want to kiss you. First of all, that nigga breath was hot. I don't want to kiss you, my nigga. No, I don't want to kiss you. I came down here to work. So, let me get my phone so I can show y'all the messages. I'm going to show y'all where, first of all, if anything, this nigga was on my body bad, and I'm telling him, like... I'm genuinely just trying to come down here to make content. Let me go to this bitch ass nigga messages real fast. Let me go to this bitch ass nigga messages. So. Does Shay keep trying to make it seem like I was just fanned out and like a groupie for him whole time? I really wasn't at all. You're not even my type of nigga. Anybody that knows me knows I like dreadheads. I don't like niggas with waves. None of that. I genuinely went out to Atlanta to fucking film with this ass nigga. Like, let me show y'all. So the first, the like, the Shay kept asking me, like, do you fuck with that uh, Wuda YouTuber? I'm telling him, like, yes, I do content with him. And no, I don't fuck with him like that. So that's the first thing y'all can see. Yes, I do content with him. But no, I don't fuck with him like that. Boom. Um... Then it was like, when you trying to slide to the A? I said, if I did, it would be after my bird birthday. When is your birthday? He talking about some LOL, you mad fi. Never replied. He started sending fucking food and shit. Never replied. He started sending food and shit. Look, didn't reply. This nigga sent it again. Sent it again, my nigga. I said, okay, that actually looks good as fuck. 
That actually looks good as fuck. LOL. Not you can cook. Laugh my ass off, kinda. Um, he said, what you doing? I said, finishing up my last head. My motherfucking back hurt. He said, all you be doing here, I know your finger's strong as shit. Um, I said, yeah, I basically can do everything. Basically was telling him, like, I rap, sing, do hair, YouTube right now. And, um, yeah, we were just talking, chopping it up. So let me go to where we started talking about when I was going to get to Atlanta. So let me see. So first thing, first red flag, this nigga, uh, Deshae texted me and was like, laugh my ass off. You told Wood I hit you to make videos. When you hit me, let's work. That's childish shit. Laugh my ass off. I just don't be doing weirdo shit like that lying shit. So this is where he texted me that. And this is how I know him and Wuda were already arguing. It had nothing to do with me. Him and Wuda had to have already been arguing. They had to have been. Because Wuda and Yanni had did that hot seat. And when Yanni and Wuda did that hot seat, Yanni fucked Wuda. And I know Yanni fucked Wuda because she literally texted me on Instagram and was like, um, what'd she say? She texted me on Instagram and she was like, are you busy? I need to call you ASAP. It's important. Boom. She called me. She told me her and Wuda had sex. And she was asking me, like, do I fuck with Wuda like that? And I'm like, no, like, we be doing content and shit. Like, we did fuck with each other in the past, but no, we not fucking around type shit. So, the whole time, me and Wuda really were, like, messing around. Like, y'all seen the content that we were doing? We were messing around. And in that hot seat that he did with Yanni, you could tell Wuda was trying to be funny when Yanni asked him something about me. And obviously, that ass nigga Wuda did that because he was just trying to get some, like, Lame ass nigga, <laughs> literally. So let me finish. And I'm going to put all the receipts in this motherfucking video because I'm fucking done. I'm done letting y'all play with me. I'm done letting y'all say I'm lying on niggas. I'm done with all this shit. I'm clearing up everything and I'm exposing motherfuckers too. I don't give a fuck no more. I don't care, bruh. I don't care. Y'all can say what y'all want. Y'all can, clout- can say I'm clout chasing. Whatever the fuck y'all want to say, I'm doing this for my image because y'all got me looking bad as shit right now. And I don't even do shit like this at all. I never got on the internet and lied and said, no nigga, me, ever. Um, then he talked about some man, y'all got something going on. I said, I told him I can work with other people that have a platform like him because he was trying to belittle me. Boom, right here, right here. Y'all see that? He said, man, I'm saying, bro, I'm too grown for that shit. I ain't mad or none, but... Now you just come off weird to me because who do that like myself? I said, bro, he's weird as fuck. He don't want me recording with other people, I guess. Literally, I'm going to just put a screen recording in this video. I'm putting a screen recording of the messages in here. So he said, so that's, so after I said that message, the shade FaceTime me and we was just talking about like the content we were going to do. And I was basically asking him like, what type of content we're going to do? What are we going to do when I get out there? And he was like, we just going to probably get something to eat, get to know each other on some, you know, cool, chill shit. But he said, I'm gonna call you right back. He called me. I didn't answer. Then he was like, man, you're not going to leave me on a cliffhanger like that. Call me back. Laugh my ass off. Wasn't even calling this nigga back. Like I was not being no fanned out ass female over this little ass nigga to say. And he really is trying to run with that shit. Like you're not even my type of nigga. What do I need to be fanned out about you for? I don't ever, I've never, bro, I've been around so many different content creators. I've been around so many niggas that have the same type of platform as him. And I never did anything like this. So for me to get on the internet and say some shit that a nigga did to me, I'm not, ne- I'm not lying. I don't have to lie. Like this is not even no good type of clout. Even if I, if I did, like, I wouldn't even do no shit like this for clout. And if motherfuckers do shit like this for clout something's wrong with them some you're sick gotta be sick to get on social media and try to lie on somebody no and then this nigga the shade knows he's fucking guilty bro this nigga posted a video talking about some the truth about my allegations or what i did something like that this ass nigga deleted the video because why are you trolling about sexual assault when you know you really sexually assaulted me my nigga like why are you trolling about that if you know you really did that That's how you know this nigga is guilty. Every video that he has done since the sexual assault has happened, he has talked about it. Talked about it in every single video, which shows how guilty this nigga is. Like, you're talking about it in every single video, my nigga? Like, that don't say something to y'all? Y'all need to wake up and watch what these content creators put out because that shit is sick, bro. And I mentally was in the house fucked up for weeks. Weeks, like... That's why I have not been, that's why I didn't respond because I was, that shit hit different. When people telling you you're lying, when people telling you they don't believe you, when people telling you're doing shit for clout and you're really not, you genuinely trying to tell people what happened to you and put your story out there. 
So I'm let me finish and I'm gonna show y'all. I got a lot of shit. I got a lot of proof, a lot of shit that I'm gonna show y'all. Bro, these fucking niggas are fucking nasty as fuck. This shit counter fucking days, bitch. I swear to God. I swear to God, bro. You should never play with me. I swear to God. I swear to God. Y'all. I don't even do this social media shit, but. Bro, this Shay, you're a fucking bitch. I swear to God, y'all. Y'all, this nigga got me drunk as fuck. And, bro. I'm really trying my hardest not to have a panic attack right now. But so then he was like, he was like, your boyfriend hit me. I said, oh my gosh, again. And boyfriend is crazy. LOL. I'm going to call you when I get up. I fell asleep last night. Laugh my ass off. So this nigga, the shade kept trying to make it seem like me and Wooda were dating. When I already told him, me and this nigga are not dating. We just be doing content. He kept implying to Wooda as my boyfriend, my boyfriend, my boyfriend, my boyfriend. <laughs> So I said, what happened? FaceTime me. He said, because I got a flight in like 30 minutes. I said, okay, bet. No, he was like, but I told bro, he's going to have to see me either way. Keep that same energy. Get your boyfriend. So <clears throat> this shows that this bitch ass nigga, Deshae, and this bitch ass nigga, Wuda, were already arguing before I even came into the picture. And like I just said, that hot seat video was before I went to Atlanta. So Wuda, f Yanni, Yanni. Somebody told Deshay. I don't know, but somehow Deshay had to have found out. Had to have found out because this nigga kept implying my boyfriend, my boyfriend, my boyfriend. And then they were already arguing. So they had to have been arguing about Yanni. Had to have been. So I said, what the fuck? Y'all cutting up. Y'all cutting the fuck up. So y'all into it for real over what though? He said, what you want? Your girlfriend acting up. He never explained what they were into it about. Never, ever. Literally, he texted and was like, what you doing? I text him back two fucking days later, my nigga. Two days later. I said, I was eating my people for my nanny birthday. He said, okay, just leaving this club. Text back the next day. What club you was leaving, LOL? And tell me why I caught food poisoning. Damn, you good? Some shit. Yo. Wasn't even responding to this nigga. So how is the bitch fanned out? I can see if I'm on this nigga bad. Like, I'm on in the messages, you know, calling him fine doing all types of shit but it's like we was never on that we was never calling each other he called me fine and shit like that but i never was like oh yeah you fine i'm trying to fuck with you like if i was going out there to fuck with you like that the shade you would have known my nigga you would have known i would have made that shit known like come on now we're not kids we're grown as fuck and then i don't even like like let me just finish i said yes i feel way better now thank you he was like did you still want to come see me on the 24th? My assistant asked and she going to book it. Bet. I sent my stuff. I sent my information. He booked the flight. He said, you're going to be my little girlfriend while you're out here with me. I said, girlfriend is crazy because girlfriend is crazy. Like, you're not even my type of nigga. You're not my cup of tea. So that's why I'm like, girlfriend is crazy, LOL. And y'all know as females, when we say something is crazy, it's like, we're not fucking with that. Like, that's like a nigga saying, um, what's up, bae? And you like, bae is crazy because it's like, that's crazy. Bae who? Like, so he was like, LOL, you ain't fucking with me. Same thing he kept saying when this bitch ass nigga kept asking me for a kiss. He was like, uh, LOL. No, he wasn't saying LOL. This was in person. Like when he was asking for kisses and shit, he was like, you ain't fucking with me. You ain't fucking with me. Yeah, nigga, I'm not fucking with you. I didn't come out here to fuck with you. I came out here to record content. Okay. I came out here to record content. I didn't come out here to get like, I didn't. So... I was like, but I mean, we can catch a vibe. He was like, why you out here? Not forever. Laugh my ass off. LOL. Sure. I said, duh. I know that. I'm just talking. LOL. Then he gonna send a laughing emoji of heart and then this. I said, we lit. He said, for real, not gonna lie. I don't really be hyping girls up, but you really fine as hell. She got it though. You leaving at 10 a.m. Can't change it. Send it. Oh, wait. I'm screen recording, so I don't even gotta show y'all. She got it though. You leaving at 10 a.m. Can't change it. I said to Shay. So when I text him to Shay, I, when I text him to Shay, I had FaceTime him and we was on FaceTime. We was talking and I was telling him like, lucky I might not come out to um, Atlanta because it was just already causing too much commotion. Like it was just too much. Like shit was on messy mods, all types of shit. And 
I just didn't want to be a part of the drama because it was just like, I didn't want to look, I didn't want to be in the middle of anything. And this is where shit changes up. I said, why you post it on your story, LOL, and, and this nigga blocked me. He said, didn't you just say that, LOL? Ain't that's why you got a screenshot of me too? Laugh my ass off, sweet off, sweet ass nigga. You want me to take it down or something? Don't let that nigga have you feel some type of way unless that's your nigga. So that's when I was like, okay, like, I was starting to have mixed emotions because it's like, Buddha is not my nigga. So he really can't be mad about nothing I do, like, or nothing somebody does. So, or he can't be mad about anything I can't control. You know what I mean? So I was like, he's saying you trying to get your get back on him or something like that. I don't know. I just don't want to be a part of whatever beef y'all have. So boom, this fucking literally shows him and Wuda were already arguing over something. Like I just said, Yanni called me, told me she fucked Wuda. The Shay and Wuda had to have been arguing over that. They had to have been because... He never like spec he never explained why him and Wooda were beefing. He never explained what was the real issue ever. So, and y'all see, Yanni obviously a pass around that. Y'all see she's been doing content, going back to her ex, going back to like y'all see what type of person she is. Y'all see, like, y'all see for yourselves. This bitch literally sucked her best friend's the bitch is grimy as fuck. So, boom. He was, and then I was, when he said, um, don't let him make you feel some type of way unless that's your nigga, I said, yeah, you right, no bullshit. Because he was right. He was like, man, I ain't talked to that nigga. Manipulation is real. And man, manipulation is real. He was like, the Shay was saying some some real ass shit to me, but it's like, shit just went left. Let me, let me, y'all just listen. Y'all just listen. He was like, I'll never be for the TikToker, laugh my ass off. I'm, I'm in Dubai and got too much money for that. What get back? Laugh my ass off. You hit me. Laugh my ass off. So facts, facts. I did hit this Shay up to film, but I told you I hit him up because he had already hit me up in the past and Wuda was already trying to like, basically Wuda was using me for his content. He was trying to do relationship shit. He was trying to do relationship stuff on camera and off camera, but then double back, make me feel like I'm not good enough type shit because he did a hot seat. He was talking about something, how he wants to be with Maya. All types of shit. And it's just like, the content that we're doing is getting relationship on some shit. So for you to even be on the internet talking about, so basically talking about how you want to fuck with someone that you were already fucking with, just kind of threw me off. And this is the whole reason I wanted to film with other content creators. And then Wuda is the person that even told me to go film with other niggas. He's telling me like, oh, you make my videos ass. Like, you don't know what you want to do when we're filming. You like... He was like, you make my videos ass. You don't know what you want to do when we're filming. Basically just telling me like, I'm not good enough to film with him. So it's like, nigga, so many people like me on his vlogs and shit. So it's like, you making me feel like basically shit. And then this nigga Wuda was doing four videos and one day and only letting me do one. And then like, I would ask him to do certain content. This nigga Wuda was telling me, like, no. But when he asked him to do certain content, and when I said no, it was always an argument. It was always, oh, you're you're worried about what people think. You're worried about what people, how people are going to look at you. You're you're this, you're that. You, you don't know how to do this. You don't know how to do that. Basically, Wuda treated me like shit, bro. Like, it was fun. Like, on cameras, everything looked like cookies and peaches, peaches and cream. But, like... In reality, bro, that nigga treated me like shit. He wasted my time. He used my energy. He basically used me for his content because we would plan to do out. Excuse me, y'all. We would plan to do content like when I would come over to his house because I used to work. So we would plan to do certain content. When I get over there, this nigga's recording for it. He's doing four videos with me and I don't even get to film because by the time he get done filming, it's 12 o'clock, one o'clock in the morning. I got to go to work the next day. So it's like he was playing with my time and my energy. And that's another reason I did not really want to film with him anymore because it's like I peeped that and I just fell back slowly, just kept falling further and further and further back. Like I kept peeping red flags and it kept making me detach myself from him. It kept making me detach myself from him. That's why in the like the few last videos we even did you could tell my energy was off like you could tell like how I was acting it was just off because this nigga would throw me off every day like he would try to act he would basically try to treat me like I was his like if you want to be real he would try to treat me like I was his in real life but on cameras double back try to play me on some shit like I'm just a groupie for him or 
I'm just doing this shit for content the whole time. No, my nigga. You know what was going on behind closed doors. So I'm just going to clear that up. And, and we gonna, I'm going to get more into depth on the Wooda situation after I clear up this Deshae shit. So um, I told Deshae, delete that picture. I feel like I look like a groupie. And anybody that knows me knows I'm not no groupie ass bitch. And I literally told him in black and white. I feel like I look like a groupie. He said, now you're my people. So he getting in your head, shake my head, shaking my, shaking my head, whatever. But I deleted it. I said, now he blocked me. I haven't talked to him. All right. Fans hit you about it. What they say. Boom. He sent me my confirmation to the freaking flight. I said, yes, dude. Like, why would you do that? Why, like, why would you do that? He said, laugh my ass off. Nigga, I told you he was going to do that. But it's good. They're not going to trip. When we vlog, they're going to fall in love with you. I said, I thought you were just talking. I didn't think you would do that shit for real. Because that shit is lame and corny. Like, that's another re Like, thinking about this shit now and having time to think about everything, bro. Him, Deshae, and Wuda have to have already been arguing about Yanni getting fucked by Wuda. Because why did Deshae want to post me on his story? Like... And put a dance emoji. He was already making shit seem like something it wasn't. So I was like, okay, bet you wanna uh, you wanna put me in a hot seat for one of my videos, or you don't really do sit downs. He said, I can't just give me questions. I said, yeah, of course I have some. I said, Boogie, what we doing when I get out there? So I know what type, what kind of attire to pack. He said, we're gonna go get some eat some vibe. I said, okay, cool. Hey, what you doing? Just got to the crab. The buy was something. How about you? What you, what all you do out there? Um, and all the way to my nail tech. He basically was telling me what he did in Dubai. Uh, went to Billionaire's private zoo. Like, basically tell me he just had a good time out there. I said, that's lit as fuck. Glad you have fun. And this nigga Wuda is dry. You seen what he posted. And he was like, nah, LOL. I don't be keeping up with bro. What he say? I said, none of his pages. One of the messy pages. What? And then this is what was what was posted. The Shay Frost tries to link with everybody Wuda films with featuring Ari. So, Wuda, I guess, felt some type of way about me and the Shay wants to film. Because he know the whole time he just fuck. So, he's thinking I'm going out there to get on some shit. That's how he's looking at it. But it's like, that's not what it was. I didn't even know about the Yanni shit until, when, I didn't know about the Yanni shit yet. When all, when like, when all this is going on, I didn't even know about the Yanni shit. I knew about the Yanni shit like maybe a few days before I went to um, Atlanta, but I didn't care because I already peeped what Wudu was doing to me and I was falling back. I was falling back. I was slowly, but surely detaching myself from Wuda. No bullshit. So boom. I said, I don't care, though. He mad for no reason. And this is before, let me show you the date. This is the day before Atlanta. So the shade posted this trying to make it seem like this was in Atlanta. This was when I was in Houston. These messages are when I was in Houston, my nigga. So stop lying, bro. This is shit is from when I was in Houston. He said, laugh my ass off. Nigga posted it. He's hurt. Laugh my ass off. I said, bro, yes, that shit is lame as fuck. Because it is lame. Like, you're trying to... You're getting mad at me. This nigga Wooda was getting mad at me for trying to film with other people. But it's like, nigga, you do the same thing. You're a hypocrite. You're doing the same thing and you're doing it 10 times worse than me. So I didn't see what was the problem. So he was like, I'm going to say something in the comments, bro. Stop letting that shit get to your head, soft ass. I said, I'm cool. No, don't say nothing. He said, I just put laugh my ass off. I'm just laughing at the shit because I was laughing at the shit because it was funny to me. Like how Wooda was acting. And it's like, you know how many females this nigga has filmed with when we were literally doing our series? And I didn't say shit. I didn't say anything at all. Because I felt like it's not my place. I'm not your girlfriend. There, there's, I don't have no say-so for real. Like, you're going to do what you want to do. And I'm not going to... I'm not the type of person to make somebody realize what they have or, like, what type of person I am. You're just going to see for yourself. You're going to see for yourself. That's the type of person I am. So, this bitch-ass nigga, the Shay, sending me fucking... Trying to, like, show money and shit. Like, can y'all see this? He sent like, I guess a hundred thousand, what money was waiting for him, a hundred thousand dollars or something like that. Didn't even respond to that shit. I said, what airline am I flying on? Cause I don't give a fuck. You're sending me, what, what, how is that going to help me? You showing me money, but like, how is that going to help me? And then this nigga is showing me money. But when I got to Atlanta, y'all, this nigga ain't have no fucking car. Like we literally riding with his mom. He didn't have no car. Like I'm telling y'all, social media is really a facade. Like this shit is fake, bro. Nigga had no car. Like we had to Uber everywhere. We riding in this nigga mom car. The mom is driving us, literally. Like for real. So I sent him my email. I texted my 750 because in the morning he had called me. And it was so many freaking red flags before I went to Atlanta, bro. Like it was so many different red flags. Like I literally... Forgot my ID at the house. 
I had to go back. I was literally barely, I barely made it to the airport in enough time, like all types of shit. So when he called me, I declined the call. I said, I'm up. He said, bad accident. Have a safe, have a safe flight. I said, I will. Thank you. Then he, here he go with the man shit. Your man posting your messages and shit. Shake my head. Trying to have people hate you. But let me know when you land. I can call you an Uber. Why the fuck are y'all bringing it to the net? She was like, that nigga posted your shit and added me. I ain't even say nothing new. He federal posted your whole message. I just say you deserve better. Then he started going crazy and I just stopped. You've seen it. I said, no, send it to me. Cause at this point was I on the, I think I was on my flight. I was on, I was on the plane. We didn't even leave yet. Like, and it's crazy because I was, I was literally going to get off the flight because it was just too much drama. Like this nigga posted messages, leaking my number, all types of shit. Like just trying to have people bash me. And it's like, nigga, tell the truth of why I even wanted to go film with other people. You told me to go film with other niggas. And then when I really make the move, it's a problem now. Like pick your poison. Like this nigga is weird as fuck, but y'all finna see how weird shit really gets. So I, I told him I got to Atlanta, my South Terminal. Boom. Um, what's the location I'm going to? I'm at the doctor's with me and my sis. Okay, cool. When I got there, this nigga wasn't even at the doctor with him and his sister. It was him and his fucking mom. He was at the doctor's with his mom, and we was driving with the mom. We went to Target. That's when this nigga kept asking me for kisses. I'm telling him like, nah, like I'm not on that. He said he telling he trying to make me feel bad for not wanting to kiss him. Like nigga, I just met you 30 minutes ago. 30 fucking minutes ago. What are we finna kiss for? Like, the fuck? This is, okay, so, I said I'm finna go to the bathroom real quick. So at, at, Octo on, at October 24th, 5.58, we was at the arcade. I said, I'm finna go to the bathroom real quick. LOL, okay, I got your shot. I didn't come back from the bathroom for like at least maybe 10, 15 minutes because this nigga Wuda was blowing my fucking phone up. Like, I'm on the phone in the bathroom with Wuda. Telling him, like, bro, chill. Like, we was getting into it because you're doing all this because I'm finna film with somebody, bro. Because I'm filming with somebody, but you do it all the time. So it's just like, I knew Wooda was trying to manipulate me, and I was not going for that shit no more. I wasn't going for it because he'd been manipulating me this whole time, like, all the time. And it's like, I never spoke on anything, but now I'm finna really speak on it. And y'all gonna see after I finish these Shay messages on why I moved the way I moved with Wooda. So he said, that's cool. So I, I basically said, I'm going to leave at four cause my, to see my nanny one last time while my people were at the airport. Yes, I did lie because I didn't want the to know I felt some type of way about the sexual assault because I didn't know who this nigga was at this point. Because if you would <clears throat> sexually assault me and tell me bluntly in my face that you did sexually assault me, I don't know what she'll do to me, my nigga. I don't know what she will do. And I don't even know you. I wasn't even supposed to spend the night there. And I wasn't even supposed to spend the night at this nigga's house. Like... Wuda literally got me a hotel, like literally got me a hotel. And Deshae, you knew that. You knew that, my nigga. Like, so I was like, I'm so sorry I got to leave, bro. I'm going to be hurt if I can't see her one last time. Yes, I did lie because I just said why I lied. I didn't want him to know what was up. And I just wanted to leave, just wanted to get home safe because as y'all can see, it was already a lot. Like my number got leaked while I was out there. The Shay and Wuda arguing on the neck, putting me in the middle of it, all types of shit. So energy was already thrown off and I'm big on energy. So I, yes, I did lie to leave and I lied so that this nigga wouldn't be asking me, oh, why you got to leave? Can you just stay one more day? Da, da, da. I just wanted to leave. I didn't want him to ask me nothing. I didn't want him to come up with no resolution on why I should stay. None of that. I wanted to get the fuck out and go home. Boom. He's like, he totally understand. Thank you for understanding where I'm coming from. Be with your family. I don't know if I can change it. I can try he didn't change my flight, y'all. Deshae did not change my flight. Wuda booked me another flight. So, let me see. I said, I'm definitely going to come back, though. Nah, it's cool. I'm going to book it. I can give you the money back, though. Wasn't going to give him shit back. Not going to lie. Literally was just talking. He was like, nah, you good. Do your thing for real. So, boom. Y'all see in the messages from what I'm showing y'all that I wasn't on no freaky shit with Deshae. We wasn't on no lovey-dovey shit i know we gonna have sex shit none of that we were never on that as y'all can see in the messages um so that's enough with the, the shade situation yeah that just goes to show that i wasn't on no freaky shit with the shade we wasn't on that at all so y'all keep saying oh you opened up your legs you spreaded your legs you're lying on this nigga no fuck no i'm not lying on this nigga and the shade you know i'm not lying on you so i don't even know why you trying to 
put this fake ass image on like I'm lying on you and you're the one lying. You're lying about court. You're lying about suing me. You're lying about all that shit because you know you really sexually assaulted me. You know you can't take me to court. You know you cannot take me to court because you actually did this shit, my nigga. Like, and that's why your team has not reached out to me because you never made no report. You're lying. Like, let's see some proof. Let's see proof of you, of your documentation of you suing me, supposedly. Let's see your team reaching out to me because your team has not reached out to me at all. At all. At all. People keep saying, another thing I need to address, people keep saying, oh, you can't file charges in another state. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I literally, it was hard trying to file charges. I wasn't able to file the charges exactly when it happened, but I was able to file charges. They did give me a, like, a struggle trying to file charges um, because it, it was in, I was in Houston, but I had to go to like the sheriff office or whatever. I had to go to the sheriff office so that they could file the charges. And basically they had me in a room and I just basically told the man everything that happened and everything that I said, the statement that I wrote, they were able to email it over to the Atlanta police. So please stop running with the narrative that oh, I'm lying or I'm doing this for clout or I didn't get to file charges. You can't file charges in another state. Yes, the fuck you can. Y'all need to do y'all homework. Y'all little ass kids don't know anything. You can file charges in a different state. So y'all need to stop saying that as well because I did file charges. I even have the messages of me texting the police officer because I literally went in there crying, bro. I, ball I was bawling my eyes out because I was mentally just messed up. I felt depressed. I felt like I wanted to die. Like y'all don't know how it really was taking this shit and it was it was really hard for me but I try to make it seem like I was okay and it's like I really wasn't it's like it's okay to not be okay and that's what the police officer was telling me like it's okay to not be okay so he got my number and I was texting him I was basically texting the police officer uh, Mr. Officer Carter about um the charges hey Ariel he said hey Ariel this is Officer Carter let me hey Ariel this is Officer Carter let me see focus focus I couldn't help, but the sheriff should be able to try to make the report as soon as possible so their investigation can get in the case quickly. Okay, thank you so much. You're a real nigga. I'm going to keep you updated. You're welcome. The other way, you got me cracking up. Laugh my ass off. How are you? Did they help you? I'm going this morning. I had to go to work. Oh, okay. Good. They should be able to help you. Do you know which one? The exact address? And then he sent the address. Okay, that's fine. Thank you so much. Literally kept in contact with him. That so basically when I made the video, I had already like tried to file charges and stuff. I had already talked to the I had already talked to like the Atlanta police. They told me what to do, but it's like when when basically when I was like trying to file the charges or whatever. When I went to the first sheriff's office that I went to, they were telling me like, "Oh, you can't file charges. You're gonna have to go back to Atlanta." Boom. So I'm, you know, making phone calls. I'm trying to see what I need to do. They was just giving me the run around, the run around. I finally went to the sheriff's office. Um, and that's when I met Mr. Carter. And, <clears throat> and since they were giving me the run around, they literally took me in. No, 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 they didn't take me in there. They let me write my statement and stuff there. But he sent me to another sheriff department to where they can press charges and take my statement and send it to Atlanta, Georgia. So that's, that clears that shit up, too. Y'all see, like, this, who's going to make fake messages about a fucking sexual assault? I honestly genuinely appreciate that so much. Thank you. It would be, it still should be good because of the type of case. And you're welcome. Y'all see right there in black and white. Like, nobody's lying. I don't have to lie. And who lies about getting sexually assaulted? Like, another thing I need to address is a lot of people were saying, oh, I ran into Deshae's room, this and that. But whole time, that's the only bathroom I could go to. Like, that's not even nothing to play about. That's nothing to play about at all. <sighs> but yeah, that's another reason um, y'all see me run in the bathroom at the end of the video is because that's the only bathroom I knew. Like, Deshae li literally lived with his cameraman. There was no other bathroom I could go to. So he lived with his freaking cameraman. Another thing that I want to respond to that I need to address. Now, y'all seen that Deshae, um said I tried to lie on another content creator which was false accusations because I've never tried to lie on a content creator. Um, but I know exactly who he was talking about and he was talking about Jay Slutty um, and Jay Slutty did actually sexually assault me. And I was drunk. I remember everything that happened, did not black out. I was drunk as fuck, but I remember everything that happened that night. 
uh, the people that were there were badass flow, perfect laughs. I don't remember if Loaded was there or not. I think Loaded was there though. I'm not sure. I think he was there though. Because we had all went drunk bowling. Jay Slutty was there. This is my first time ever meeting Jay Slutty. I was drunk. I had fell in like some dirty water. I had took my uh, bottoms off because they had like, I don't know if it was cow poop on it. It was something like it was dirty and it was like all over me. So Jay Slutty was saying like he had some uh, joggers that he could give me. So I let him drive my car to the B&B because we all went back to a B&B. Let him drive my car to the B&B. When we got to the B&B, I was trying to throw up the liquor to like sober back up. Or whatever. I'm bent over in the um, bathroom by myself. And Jay Slutty was going to get the joggers or whatever. And I'm bent over in the bathroom trying to, you know, like throw up and stuff. And I feel this nigga kneeling trying to get in my coochie. I look up. I get like I push him off me. I look up and I see a condom open on the counter. And I'm like, I'm not like just study. I don't want to do this. Like, no, like chill, 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 like chill out. He telling me, shh, like, be quiet. He telling me, literally, be quiet. I'll send you 2000 Just come on. Like, basically trying to beg me to have sex with him. And I'm like, no. Like, no, no, no. I don't even know you. First of all, this is my first date ever meeting you. Second of all, I don't want to have sex. Like, everything is not about sex. That's what y'all niggas fail to realize. Everything is not about having sex. I've never been no freak-ass female to just be having sex with people I just meet or, like, having sex with motherfuckers because they got a name like no and that's the reason i exposed the shay because the jay slutty situation had recently happened to me a few months prior to this the safe situation and i didn't and i didn't expose jay slutty because i didn't want to ruin what you know perfect laughs and loaded and badass flow got like i didn't want to like put them into any mess but it's like now i kind of got to clear my name up because the shay it's saying I put false accusations on people before. And I seen that the shade was with Perfect Labs in the club or something. So I don't know if she told him. I don't know if Flo, ooh, excuse me. I don't know if Flo told him because after the situation happened, Flo had called me. I don't know if Flo told him or I don't know if Jay Slade told him. But somebody told him and I didn't tell nobody about the situation because me and Jay Slade, we talked about this shit. Like he apologized and he sent me, like I had lost my Versace shoes. I had lost my shoes and I needed him to pay for them because I'm not going to spend $500 on some shoes that you made me lose because you wanted to be selfish and only think about yourself and try to take advantage of me. So I made him send me money for the shoes. And at first I was telling him like, nigga, send me 3K since you even try to play on my top. And the reason I was telling him to send me 3K was because when I told him I wasn't trying to have sex, he was trying to bribe me with money, literally telling me like, I got money on my cash app. I'll send you money right now. I'm like, fuck no. No, like, no, like, chill out, like, no. And I texted Perfect Laughs, I texted Flo, and I told him, like, come get me out the bathroom because this nigga is trying to R-word me. And he was. And I never spoke on a situation because I just didn't, I just told you, I really just didn't want to bring it to the net. I just didn't want to deal with the backlash. I didn't want to deal with people, you know, having their own opinions. But it's like, that's the whole reason I'm coming to the internet about this to say situation is because that recently happened to me and I'm still trying to recoup from that situation. So when this happened to me, it's like, oh, nah, I'm never. I'm, after that Jay Slutty stuff, I, I told myself I'm never letting anybody ever play with me like that ever again, ever. Because it's like niggas always think they can take my kindness for weakness. And it's like, I'm too genuine. You don't have to do that to me at all. So it's like when the Deshae shit happened, it was like. I'm not going for it. I, no. And I didn't go for it. And that's exactly why I came out and spoke out about the shit because I wasn't going for it. But um, I actually got the receipts in this phone. I'm going to actually send myself the receipts of the messages with me and Jay Slutty. Um, me telling him to send me money. Me telling him to pay for my shoes. The receipts of him, show, of, of him sending the money to me because he knows what happened. He knows what he did. He knows... That he tried, that not tried, he knows that he sexually assaulted me. He didn't R word me, but he did sexually assault me, and he did. And that's why I exposed the shame because this just happened to me a few fucking months ago. Like, and I'm not gonna keep letting it happen to me. Like, it's females out here that don't just wanna fuck. Like, this internet stuff got y'all messed up. I don't got no OnlyFans. I don't, like, I don't think it's for money. I don't do none of that. So, yeah, I just wanna clear that up. And. Yeah, this is the end of this video. I just, I'm just putting this out here to clear my name up and let people know why I moved the way that I moved in this situation, why I've been silent, why I've been, you know, why I took the route I took, basically. So, 
Like, y'all keep saying, I'm doing this to get Wuda back, this and that. Whole time, y'all don't know, the whole time I was out there filming with the shade, I was communicating with Wuda. I was talking to Wuda the whole time. Like, we was talking. We was getting into arguments, but, like, I was talking to him, like, telling him, like, Wuda, you're not my boyfriend. Like, you don't run and control anything I do. Like, you cannot do that. Like, you cannot. And Wuda was blowing me up the whole time, the whole time. Let me show y'all. Wuda was already, he tried to book my flight back before all that stuff even happened. So, boom, that was that. And then the reason I'm even coming to the internet with this again is to basically clear up my name. Because y'all keep saying, I'm doing this, I'm lying on the shade to get Wuda back. Whole time, y'all don't know, this nigga, I've been, I've been talking to Wuda like, when I got back to Houston, I stayed the night at Wuda's house. This nigga wouldn't even take me home. That's why I wasn't able to go to the hospital immediately because Wuda was trying to argue with me the whole entire time. He was beating on his car, literally screaming on the top of his lungs, screaming on the top of his lungs the whole ride to his house. Literally. Like, I got so scared to the point where I ran out of this nigga's house because he was screaming so much. I felt like he was going to hit me or something the way he was screaming at me. Like... And I have PTSD. I've been in a toxic relationship before. So that shit really just like, I'm traumatized from that stuff. So it's like, my first mind was, this nigga might hit me. I don't know what this nigga's going to do because you're fighting, you're, you're slamming stuff down. You slamming, you, you punching your dashboard, all types of stuff. So it was kind of like, he was scaring the mess out of me. So boom, I spent the night at Wooda's house. Next day I went home, like in the middle of the day, like, Literally, like Wuda would not take me home, and I couldn't even get an Uber because my Uber on my phone is messed up. Like, I can't Uber because I guess someone used my number and they got my Uber account blocked or my Lyft, my Uber and my Lyft account blocked. I wasn't. That's why I wasn't able to go to the hospital right after the shit happened because when I got here, when I got to Houston, like this nigga was just trying to argue, like just trying to argue. So. I'm about to tell y'all why I wanted to stop filming with Wuda. The reason I stopped filming with Wuda was because in the first place, this nigga told me to go film with other niggas. So if someone tells you to go film with other niggas, it's giving, I'm not good enough for your content. He was already telling me, oh, you make my content ass. You don't do this right. You don't do that right. Like Wuda always had a negative like something negative to say about me filming content with him. Like when we would film content, Sometimes he would tell me like, why'd you do that? Like, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? Like he didn't let me be myself. And that's why I wanted to start filming with other people because he didn't let me be myself. Like he would film literally four videos and want me to only film one video. Like he wasn't being fair. He wasn't, he wasn't trying to have me eat for real. Like he was really just worried about his content, his money. And that's it. He didn't give a fuck about me. He didn't give a fuck about my time. He didn't care about how late we filmed. Like he was just, he's just a selfish ass individual that only cares about himself. And like, when I literally got on a plane, another reason I really went to Atlanta was because when I got on a plane, got on the plane, he's telling me like, oh, you're broke as fuck. You're this, you're that. Like, I hope you die. This nigga literally told me, I hope you die. So it's just like, I seen this nigga for who he was. And that's why I continue to go to Atlanta. Cause it's like, nigga, you hope I die over me filming with somebody? Like, that's how you coming? That's how you're coming? Like, that shit just threw me off all the way. So it's like, yeah, I'm never filming with this nigga for real. I'm going, I'm going to start filming with other people that are genuine, that I thought were genuine. But the whole time, everybody has hidden animosity and hidden intentions. So boom, that's that. That's not even really the only reason I didn't want to film with Wuda anymore. He was playing with my energy. He was playing with my image. He was literally trying to do relationship type of content, but doubling back saying how he wanted to be back with Ramaya, how he didn't fuck with me for real. Like basically trying to like friend zone me on some shit the whole time in real life. You're trying to act like I'm your girlfriend. Like you acting like you're my nigga. Like be, uh, keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. Be real. Like. It's crazy. And literally, I'm going to call my best friend so that he can. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to tell him what I'm talking about. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to call him and ask him, how was Wuda acting when I went to Atlanta or before I was going? Like, no, when I went to Atlanta, how was Wuda acting when I went to Atlanta? He literally called my best friend 
my best friend was trying to talk shit about me. He tried to check my best friend about me going to Atlanta when it's like, nigga, you're not my boyfriend. You can't tell me what I can and cannot do when you do what you want. And I don't say shit about it. Let me call this nigga. I'm going to FaceTime him. Literally. Explain to me what happened when I went to Atlanta. The whole thing, like before you went or like uh, while you was there? Was it anything before I went for real? I mean, no, I didn't. I didn't talk to Uda to after. Yeah, so tell me about after, because I know before, like you, I basically was asking you for advice and stuff on what I should do, and you told me I should go, right? Yeah, because I, I, I feel like you were trying to manipulate me. Say what? I said because I felt like Uda was trying to manipulate me. Yeah, so I told you to go or whatever, do the video or whatever, but. I guess he. I guess he didn't have no intent. You didn't know what what the shade was on. When mm -hmm. You went. So then, I guess when you went or whatever, what happened was the next morning. You know, I guess Wuda was mad because you went, and he posted what he posted on on Instagram, and I saw it. And then I hit him up, and I was like, I was like, hey, bro, don't don't post it. it ain't even worth it, or whatever. And then so after that happened, he called me. He was like, she, you told her to go this, this, and that. I was like, I gave her advice on telling her to go. And so, yeah, she went. And then... And you told me advice to go and do what, though? You told me advice to go and do and what? And make content. And keep it what? And keep it a business. Okay, period. And so, what happened was, after that happened, I Udo felt bad. And so, Udo asked me if he was okay and shit. And then you was texting me. And I knew you wasn't all right because you was texting me in a way that you normally don't text me. So... I'm figured out, uh, like, I know you was drunk or whatever from his video and then also from how you was texting me. And so... Yeah, because you're the I, first person I texted when this stuff happened. I texted you at, like, 5-something in the morning. Yeah, you texted me and then I texted Wuda and I was like, yeah, she's drunk or whatever. And then Wuda was like, yeah, she's getting fucked. It's this and that. And so Wuda got a flight, got you a flight back or whatever. I um, was trying to get in contact with you, but your phone died, I guess, or it was off. It died. Yeah, I guess it died. And then the next morning, uh, you called me and told me what happened. What you wanted to say. And so, Wuda was trying to get you back, get you back here. He the one that helped you get you back, get back here or whatever. But I don't know. I don't know why he made a video or why he made the video hype about the truth. Or I don't know why he made a video about you because I didn't. I guess he. I didn't know y'all had. He had issues with the shade until he got back. So. That was my two sentences in it. Like, you got questions you want to ask me or something? No. Um. Thank you, Bess. I really just wanted to, like, get, like, I just wanted to have someone to vouch, like, on what was really going on. Because you're the only person that really knows what was going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm going to call you when I finish this video. Okay, so y'all literally see and heard for yourselves that this nigga Wuda felt bad about him doing all that when... I strictly went out there for business, to work. It wasn't on no, we're gonna have sex, we're gonna do this, we're gonna, I'm gonna get my get back. I didn't care about Yanni having sex with Wood. I really didn't care. Cause I already was distancing myself from him because I already seen what type of person he was and how he was acting and how he was moving. And I didn't fuck with it. Yeah, y'all keep trying to run with this narrative that I'm doing all this to get Wood back. Like, no. I've been, I talked to Wuda once I got to it. I talked to Wuda. Wuda picked me up from the airport. He got me a hotel. I didn't end up getting to go to because I did black out like I told y'all. He got me a hotel, picked me up from the airport, spent the night at his house when I got back to Houston. Stayed there the whole entire next day. Was still talking to him. Like, literally, this nigga was checking up on me when this stuff happened. Let me show y'all. Look. Are you upstairs? I'm not downstairs. I'm outside spirit checking. This goes to show that this nigga picked me up from the airport. Like, I didn't do all this to get cool back with Wuda. We've been cool. Like, I just stopped fucking with Wuda because he was talking mess about me before all of this, all of this, this shade stuff happened. I don't know if y'all seen, but someone de named the official Reese, Reese, whatever the fuck his bitch ass name is, he made a video about me basically saying that I stated his show was ass, which it was ass. I didn't say I didn't have a good time, but I told him, I told, was telling Wuda that the show that we were on was ass because nothing really happened. They were trying to create fake drama, all types of shit. And it's like, 
would have went behind my back and told this guy that trying to make it seem like I was talking shit about my friends whole time I wasn't he was really trying to like make all my friends hate me same thing he tried to do to my best friend he tried to make him feel some type of way like basically he tried to make people hate me on some stuff like he tried to make he tried to turn people against me and try to make himself look innocent so yeah I really just want to clear that up I really wanted to clear the y'all um saying I'm lying about the Deshae shit because I'm not lying um so yeah, let me see what else do I need to clear up. Okay, Yanni, I'm coming for your neck. So Yanni blocked me um, because when the sexual assault happened, Yanni texted me and I had already seen people saying in my comments that Deshae put something in Yanni's drink before and her auntie had actually spoke up on it, but supposedly she got paid to shut the fuck up. I don't know. But that's what that's what a lot of my supporters were telling me that Yanni actually did say the shade put something in her drink before, but she ended up clearing it up or something. And Yanni literally texted me. Um, let me go to the screenshots. Yanni texted me and was basically like telling me, like, even if the shade did, why am I bringing it to social media? Like, what do you mean? The fuck? And I told her, like. Stop, like she had called me and I told her like, Yanni, stop playing on my phone. I'm telling her like, bitch, we look totally different. We don't even look alike. Our bodies are built built totally different. You're skinny as fuck. I'm not, baby. I got ass, teeth, all that. So it's like, we're not even in the same category. Like, I'm not saying she's ugly or anything like that, but I'm saying like, we are built totally different. You don't have any, you don't have no ass. And I'm not even trying to say that on no cocky shit. It's like, you just don't. It's just the reality. You don't have a body, like. You're built like a kid. I'm not. I got a grown woman body. I have a, a shape, all that. So I'm telling her, like, that just because he didn't do anything to you doesn't mean he didn't do anything to me. So, y'all, let me go to the screenshots. I'm going to actually just insert the clip. I'm going to insert a screen recording of what Yanni texted me, our whole conversation. Because Yanni bitch ass is trying to lie and say that she has a screen recording of me saying I lied on Deshae the whole time, she's a fucking liar. She's mad that I trolled her about her trying to make a video and say she did it for Buddha when you literally called me and told me you fucked this man. You literally called me and told me that you had sex with this man and was trying to see if I was fucking with him on some weird shit. And you literally told me that Wood was blowing your phone up about you being in Atlanta with Deshae. So make it make sense, Yanni. Which one is it? You study lying on the internet for clout at this point. Um... Yeah, I'm going to put the receipts in there as well. And then last thing I do want to address is, um, yeah, that's really all I really need to, you know, address. I just want people to really stop speaking about this serious um, topic because, you know, I really am dealing with this, this shit day by day. I've never been sexually assaulted before. Well, I have, but like I've never been R-worded before ever. Like I've been sexually assaulted, but I've never been R-worded before. So I really didn't know what to do in the situation and... Yeah, I was mentally depressed. I felt worthless. I felt useless. I felt like the world was against me. It was just a lot. Like, and I was trying to make it seem like everything was okay, but in reality, it really wasn't. I was really me mentally fucked up about it. So that's why I really am making this video just to clear my name up because um, I wouldn't lie on anybody for clout. I wouldn't lie to try to ruin anybody's name. I've never lied on anybody before. Oh. I'm glad I just thought about one more thing. Um, a lot of people keep asking me, like, why, why are you not saying nothing about the situation? Why you been silent? Why did you go ghost? This and that. And the reason I really was silent was because I'm on a bond. I really wasn't even supposed to be in Atlanta, honestly. My mom was just getting into my head telling me, like, you're already on bond. You're never supposed to be leaving the state. Like, just be quiet about the situation, this and that. And then um, they were already saying, like, my mom was saying, like, um, he said he's going to take you to court. Just deal with it at court the whole time. This nigga's lying for his own image. Like, nobody reached out to me. No court. There's no nothing. No such thing as court because he's lying. So, yeah, I just got to clear that up. And, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Um, that's the end of this video, y'all. Bye, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm done.